Hello everyone and welcome to the next in our series of daily origami for YouTube. Today we're going to continue our theme of looking at some traditional origami and we're going to look at another fun way to kind of fold up a letter if you're writing letters for pe to people and you want to keep it folded up in a nice neat way without an envelope on hand. Um, this particular origami works really good with rectangular shapes, so you don't want to use just a square piece. That won't really work so good. So um, I'm just going to be using paper that's about 25 centimeters by 18. Um, this is just sort of a rough estimate on that, but I'll let you guys know the dimensions kind of when we're done. That way you can kind of see, you know, if there's a certain shape of something you're trying to kind of include in the letter, like whether it be money, a gift card, a C a DVD, CD, those kinds of things. Um, you can kind of adjust the sizing so that things will fit. Uh, you're going to start off here with your paper and I just um, I'm using some regular printer paper really because I don't have rectangular or gummy paper on hand that I wanted to use for this. But we're just going to start by marking where the center is. Just fold it in half. And then you want to take each of these bottom edges and fold up into the center. I'm going to do the same thing on this side too. So we get a nice thing like this. Then I'm going to take each of the sides and fold in, bringing that little bit of paper that we've got there into the center. I'll do both sides here. Then we want to take this part that you see down here, this little diamond shape, and I'm going to actually open it up. And one thing you could do to kind of start things is get inside of here and press against the edge that we just folded over so you can kind of start a crease there and get it kind of started by folding it over. I'm going to do the same thing over on this side too. I can find it. <laughs> We're just going to push against the edge as much as we can here. Once you get both of those started, then you can open both of them here and get this whole part to open and smush down. And you can turn it either which way that helps. But you want to try to create a nice smooth angle where you're getting between both sides and you're keeping your centers lined up and you're keeping all this straight so you can get that whole part opened up to become a nice rectangle there. Then I'm going to take each of these sides and fold into the center and you don't want to get this crease too even with the edge because this is where we're going to fold the letter in if you want to choose to tuck it in. Make a crease here and make another one on this side too. Now there's two ways you can finish this off. You can take this whole thing and just fold straight down and create, choose to keep it just kind of like an envelope that you still need to seal. You can either uh, use glue, uh, put a cute little sticker here and just be done. Or you can choose to tuck this flap inside this pocket and secure it that way as well. Um, it's just kind of up to you. And I think this particular you know, origami works so nice with really nice, pretty paper if you have some nice, thick, wrapping paper. You, this is a nice way to, you know, uh, give the bride and groom um, money for uh, a wedding, for example, uh, by just using some really fancy paper and then putting that in there. That's pretty common in Japan. We don't usually give gifts. We give money. You don't, you, that's all you give. It's a rule. You don't give gifts. You give money. So <laughs> this would be a nice way to give that. It would be in here. Uh, but that gives you the finished dimensions of our little envelope. Like I said, you can play around with everything and kind of see, like I said, if there's a particular bill size you wanted to put in here, you could play around and make that, um, you know, kind of match. That's another thing in Japan. We don't, you don't give bills that have any creases. You get new bills from the bank if you're giving it as a gift. It's kind of considered tacky if you give money that's old and has creases all over it. So you need usually an envelope that's the same size as money. This would be too small, but... Let me give you guys the dimensions here. This is about 13 by 6 and a half. Kind of give you an idea. Um, and depending, you know, on which way you're looking at this. But that should kind of give you the finished dimensions of this little envelope. And like I said, it can be really used either way. You can keep it just as an open flap here to really look like a normal envelope too. 
But that is our finished project for today. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.